and go and go said it I shall be a lady forever so Nobody could destroy America. Alright, America get the greatest military in the world. Yeah. But the most they're gonna fuck it up. Man. Yeah, how is she coming back up? Make a mess of that military. Right? Yeah. So that thou did not lay these things to thy heart. Neither did remember the latter end of it. Obadiah 1 and verse 3. It says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is high, that said in thine heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, hence will I bring thee down, says the heart. Satellites and so forth, you're gonna bring everything down to the ground. Alright, I ain't gonna stop no chariot. Chariot says you know. Alright? Let's pay for toy to the Lord. Yeah. Verse 8 of Isaiah 47. Therefore, hear now this, thou that are given to pleasure that dwelleth carelessly, that saith in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the, the, the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. For yeah, the scripture tells you now one of the missiles come miss. Right? And one of the missiles come miss America. Alright? And in one hour, America will get destroyed. Right? One hour, America will get destroyed. In one day, they come down to one hour. Revelation 18 and 17. For in one hour so great riches has come to naught, and every ship master, and all the companies and ships, and sailors, and as many as trained by sea, in far up. Verse 18. Isaiah 47 and verse 9. But these two things shall come to thee. In a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection. For the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantment. Bread and circuses, the smoke and mirrors. Alright? All of that, the most I'm gonna destroy. Alright? Because of all that witchcraft, the most I'm gonna destroy. 
For thou hast trust in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am and none else besides me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantment, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, if so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Yeah, you witchcraft and all of that. Ain't gonna be able to Right? So your blood sacrifice. None of that you won't be able to deliver. Verse 13. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsel. Let now the astrologers and multitude of thy counsel. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly pronosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Yeah, let it tell you the same that you come in. It's telling hey, let it tell you the signs that come in. When scripture said that we will not be able to know when it is come upon him. So all these Nasa and these things that they got that they always foretelling, oh we see this, we said let it tell you the, the, the prophecy the prophecy. Yeah, no men ring when you come and have it. Yeah. Behold, they shall be a stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame, there shall not be a coal to warm at no nor, nor fire to set before it. Thus shall they be unto thee. With warm thou hast labored even thy merchants for thy youth, they shall wander every one his water, none shall save Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven? O Lucifer, son of the morning, how art thou come down to the ground, which didn't speak in the nation? Verse 13, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend unto heaven, I will exalt my, my throne above the stars of, of Yahweh. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will I will be like the Mosai. Verse 15, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the side of the pit. Verse 16, they that see thee shall not entirely look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and did shake kingdoms? This 
Lucy Fofi is like beer. They are the like beer of this world. Right? They are the ones in control. Right? Continue on. So the world will bring you everything. Take right. your riches, everything on here and bring it down. Verse 17. That made the world as a lake, as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, and opened up the house of his prisoners. All, verse 18, all the kings of the nations, even all of them lie in, glo lie in glory, every one his own house. But thou, verse 19, but thou art cast, cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain, trust true with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit. Isaiah 14 and verse 8, 19 says, But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable, abominable branch, and as the raiment of those that are slain, trust true like with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a cut carcass trodden upon the feet. Verse 20. No, thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land, slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be re renowned. House of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house, the house of Jacob is um, the house of Jacob is the so called um, the right? It is the so called Negroes, West Indians, and Asians, right? Continue. And the house of Je Joseph is the northern kingdom, right? Which is is um, Ephraim, which is the so called Nat Latino and native India. Alright? Ephraim being the leader. Alright? And all the tribes who are going to lead. He said, verse 18 of Obadiah 1 And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh had spoken it. Verse 19, and they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plains of Philistine, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. It's amazing. So, the of the south is true of the so. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the, the faith of the saints. Here is the patience. Forward to that. Right? And the reparations will be more slaves. Huh? 